Hello, in my previous video about my extra life donation tracker, I talked about how to set it up for Linux. So this time I want to talk about how to set it up for Windows. So the first thing you have to do is actually get Python because it's not included on Windows, uh, while it is included on most um, Linux and Unix um, distros. Um, so you just go to um, python.org slash downloads and download the latest Python. Um, as of the time of making this video, it's 372, uh, which came out on Christmas Eve. So you'll just download that, install that as you install any uh, kind of program. Uh, once that's installed, you want to come over to my uh, repo on GitHub, and I'll have this address um, in the description. And you just want to come over here to releases, and then click on the zip file, and download the zip file. You can see here that I did that earlier. So now we'll come over to, um, let's see. All right, you're gonna see things go crazy here, but let's look at the back here. All right, so you have your zip file and you would uh, go over here to extract all. <coughs> put that whatever you want it. Uh, I had it extracted, there we go. Uh, put that whatever you want it. I did it um, here on the desktop just for simplicity's sake. All right, and here's all the files. And here's a folder that I created and I was trying to make sure everything was gonna work for this demo. So um, for the sake of the demo, just go ahead and create a text file here so you can go new folder and call it text. So now you would right click here on extra life donations, edit with idle, okay. And um, here I already added the um, folder that I just created text. One important thing for you to notice that it's an issue on Windows and not Linux is that because Windows uses backslashes, and because black backslashes mean something special in programming, um, they're an escape um, character, you need to do double backslash uh, to set your folders. So once you got that going, what I recommend doing here is, um, let's see, run the shell so you can see what's going on. And then you want to do run module, which you can also hit F5 to do. And here you go. It'll say it's go time. It'll tell you the time. And um, after the first two, every 30 seconds, it'll display the time to show you that it's um, still pinging their, um, uh, still pinging the API for extra life. And if you come back over here, um, you'll see that this is now filled with all these files. Um, it didn't have this before until I ran this file um, before when I was testing things. If you look here, um, here's the goal that I have on my extra life page. Uh, so how to use this? Well, let's bring back OBS, Ooh, infinite OBS. So you just go here to open text and we'll call this um, goal. Do read from file go to the folder that we selected. Again, that could be any folder you wanted. I just put in a text folder there just to make things easy. Um, so let's see, this one had the name, donation tracker, and then test, goal. All right, you can uh, do things like change the background color. You can add an outline. Oh, well, let's add an outline uh, in black to make it a little more easy to read. There we go. And so here it is. Um, one other thing you might want to do is um, I have, let me bring this up again, here under last donor name amount message horizontal. Um, this is what you would see uh, for some people. They use it for things like extra life or they use it on uh, regular Twitch type um, donations. It'll show like a little scroll across the bottom, like a news feed that'll show the last few people that have donated. I don't have any donors right now, but if I did, I would set that instead of instead of um, goal. And then you click here, you click on filters, and you would add, oh, let's move this over because this is in the video, this is actually gonna be covering that. Uh, we'll do scroll, then horizontal, 
now you can see it scrolling. And that's it. So um, every 30 seconds, this, this would be updated. Uh, see, you see a couple here more. And so um, if someone donates, the next time it updates, um, your numbers will change on the screen automatically. And you'll say, hey, I've got a new donation. And then you'll be able to thank whoever donated you. So I hope you find this uh, useful. And if you do, I'd ask uh, if you would please consider uh, donating to my Extra Life campaign. Uh, any amount, even just a dollar, um, shows your appreciation. All right, so uh, thanks and happy extra lifing.